Hello everyone, welcome to 5 minutes scientific computing talk. In this video, we will discuss the streamlined filter and discuss how it is implemented in the VTK and to show some examples to use the parallel view to show the streamline results. The left figure shows the streamline in a straightforward way. The upper left figure is original data. It is a grid mesh and every point is associated with a vector. So there is a flow field in this three dimension space. The bottom figure shows the results after applying the streamline filter. Intuitively, we can assume that we put a point in a field and that point flies through the flow field. The trajectory of that point is a streamline. Here we put a lot of points along this line and we got lots of streamlines. The right side equation shows how we describe the streamline in a mathematical way. The S here is a function of step. The output of S is a coordinate. It indicates a point position at a specific step. The right side is the integral operation. And this V here is a function of coordinates. For each point, there is a vector associated with this that point. And for example, this vector can represent the velocity of fail, flow field at a particular point. For example, for each dimension, assuming the y dimension, we know the change rate of the particular part particle's position, which is the velocity. And then we can use the integration operation to compute the streamline and to express this uh, our original function. So the formal definition of the streamline is the lines that are tangent to the velocity field. And the derivative of the streamline at the specific point is this velocity vector. Let's use the VTK and the pair view to show how the streamline works. And the example we used in this video is this one. This is a data site on VTK example website. The first one is the kitchen data. And the second one is this. You may find the specific data in this repository. VTK example SRC testing and data. Okay, let's open the pair view and load the data. For this example, if we load the kitchen.vtk and here are the results. Let's say we choose a particular variable and use a specific like service and then we try to add a new filter such as a streamline filter, stream tracer in this example. And if it, yeah, here are some results about the stream trace example. Actually, it's quite easy to use the stream tracer in the pair view and to use the VTK data. If we hit this gear button, we can see all kinds of variables related with this filter. First one is the vectors. It is the input of the stream tracer filter. And then it is a particular integration parameters since essentially we need to do the integration to calculate the uh, uh, streamline. And this value indicates the length of the streamline. If we decrease this value, we can see the streamline also decreases. This is a seed type. The seed means the initial point we choose in the vector field. For example, the original one is the line, line seeds. And if we use a point cloud, we can see the start point is located in this area. We can also recite the properties of this state's array. For example, here, we can cite the resolution as a different value. If we set like 10, you could say we only choose 10 
start points or initial points in those specific areas. And then, so then from this start point, we can compute the streamline. The coloring indicates the different colors of the variables overlap with this streamline. We can choose different variables. And yeah, that is a basic example to show how the stream tracer example works. If we try to use another data like this one, sale MB, sale and BQ. We load this one firstly and use this PLT PL plot 3D reader and then load that Q file. This, this particular data site is a little bit special. It needs two files. One is this data file and another is this Q file. It's a kind of the metadata file. This one is a metadata file, Q file. Load this data. Yeah, this is the results. We can also add the stream tracer here and say, yeah, this is another example. We can also cite different parameters or different integration method and different properties for the integration. Yeah. Furthermore, we can add more parameters such as the two parameter to make the results more obvious, like this one too. Yeah, you can see there are different visualization results. This is an example code that shows how to load the kitchen.vdk file and use a stream tracer filter to process it. The example comes from here, VTK examples, visualization kitchen, and we updated this code a little bit. The code is uh, straightforward. Firstly, we use this structure grid reader to load the kitchen.vtk here. And then we cite the source, which is a, a line source, which, which is a array, and every point contains the particular location and this is the initial points of the uh, streamline in the vector field and then we use the VDK stream tracer create this filter cite the input connection the input connection is the output of this data reader and another source connection is this uh, line array is this line which contains the, the array of points. And then we set necessary parameters such as how many steps we want to do the integration and the particular parameters related to the integration operation. And then we create a poly data writer which output the, output the data with a streamline. We use a poly data to precise that. And at last, we write the results into this stream kitchen .vdk file. Uh, pay attention to this part when we execute the streamer's update operation. We will execute this filter and get the results. And let's say our results in parallel view. Okay, and let's say how this code work. You could say that when we execute this streamline example kitchen battery and use the kitchen.vdk as input, we can get a output file, this one. And this is a um, poly data. And if we transfer this into our local machine and use the power view to visualize it, we can see the results, which is uh, streamlined results executed and generated based on this uh, filter, this PDK streamline filter. 
and yeah, we can see the information here, the results, it contains all variables. You may update this code and to cite different parameters to say how the results will, will, be, will be. Let's look at case steps of how the VidK implement the streamlock filter zooming in the two dimensional space. We know several sample points and there is a two dimension vector associated with each point. Then according to the definition of the streamline, we can compute the integral of the velocity field. For instance, let's look at the y dimension. The zoom is derivative to the t is the vy. Then the VK can use the wrong Kuta method to compute the value of the fy at the next step. However, we may not know the velocity value at a specific step since we only have limited sample points. For example, if we want to know the velocity at this position, we don't have that value. And in VTK, it uses VTK abstract interpolated velocity field class to transfer the discrete points into continuous field based on the interpolation. And you may check the online code for more details. We also list other case steps of the VTK stream transfer filter. For example, this request data function is the entry point of the stream transfer function. And the integrate function can do the integration operation and the compute next step shows how to compute the next particular position based on the wrong code method. And you may dive into those codes to find more details. I think that's all for this video and thanks for watching and see you next time.